promoters that we know in Zambia and uh, it's not always that she's gonna get the positive credit no but even human beings as I'm going we go sometimes that's true I watched the interview of um, uh, one Chile Mr. Zambia and Edna and it went sour at the point where it came out of an interview and just became more like a debate all right I, I, I'm not di disputing that uh, Edna at some point humiliated uh, Mr. Chile a lot where Mr. Chile had no other words but just to be quiet and better ask questions the, the interview became so so much sour just look at this clip mm, why did you decide to start touring with Indusaka first? because I knew that Indusaka is big it has like let me try to see like response to and a quite a writer. I came here in Osaka and I've tried my best. But you know what's happening? Yeah. It's like everything good doesn't start from Osaka. It starts from especially Kumi and Kumako Parok. Then it comes. That's why I say that. So I feel like you're skipping a stage. In Copper Belt? Yes. Uh, let me just say, in Copper Belt, I've tried. Like, I can't, I can't say. Nah, it's not about it. It's not about it. But, but uh, Mr. Zambia started becoming so much uncomfortable, right? Even just responding to what to Edna's what Edna questions. Because some questions were out of line, and some questions were not pointing to an upcoming artist. Some questions were pointing as if the person has already been in the music industry for some uh, some for, for some period of time, which is quite wrong in this case. She made a mistake. And she just has to add image like look at the, the other thing. Come to me because well, let me, really now let me tell you, if I want to help you, I'll give you an option to say pick who do you want to work with. I won't impose it because just because I love diamond platinums, I won't say because I love diamond platinums, you should do a song with diamond platinums. Mm -hmm. I will I will ask you, Chile one, I want to help you. Who do you think you would work best with? Who's your favorite artist in Zambia? I have I love all of them. Your favorite? I, I love favorite. I love all of them. Okay, Jacob. Huh? Jacob, okay. but because I know you yeah. had, wait, wait, <laughs> okay. Jacob, because even though you said you, you do a song with Jacob, yeah. definitely it won't work because I've already seen the collab. They're just here, it cannot work. Who says that? Let's continue. Like it, you get it? Mm -hmm. I'll give it to a Natasha Chancer because I know it's going to be a song. You give her, let's say, I am for moving forward. Uh -huh. You go to Natasha Chance. I want you to work with Jacob. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have chosen Jacob for Natasha Chance yourself. Because when Mr. Zambia asked Edna about her favorite what artist, she didn't even pick a Zambian artist. I understand that because those are someone's favorite, right? Then now uh, there's this like, dispute that arose when um, uh, Edna decided to say she would rather. Uh, have a collaboration uh, of Jeko and what and, and, and Natasha Chansa rather than what rather than Mr. Chile. That's her opinion. But you don't say that to someone who's just upcoming. You deteriorate them, you break them down, you you make them feel like they can't collaborate with anyone as high as that. Alright? There's nothing wrong with collaborating with an already existing artist because that's how we are. We always need someone in life to lift us up where we are. We need always a mentor. Always need a motivator. Mark II is a motivator. So what's wrong with it? Chile collaborating with Mark II. What's wrong with Chile collaborating with Slavdi? All these are music promoters just like uh, Edina is. So in the end, I didn't even finish watching the whole interview because I felt so much pity for Mr. Chile as he's just an upcoming artist. How would you say something like that? Or I would rather Jacob collaborate with Natasha than you. You know, 
just the expression from his face you can tell just look at this you know look at this you can even tell that he was very very uncomfortable at that particular moment because he felt so imbalanced that he wouldn't match up to the expectation of someone so what a man tried to send the message today is that hey if you are you are a music promoter we all need someone at some point even you as Edna, you reach at that point not because of uh, coincidence, you know, but because there were people who were uh, willing to push you. Now, people don't criticize you who you can, uh, who can come on board and help you. No, we all need someone in life and do your promoting of music, we love your business, but never, okay, make people feel low about themselves. If music is trying to make their living, but once you start putting negativity in them, that is wrong. See you in another telling.